Hello, hello, Mordimers here, and welcome to another tournament which just ended right now. Uh, it's ended Stockfish versus Lila Chess Zero Super Final uh, of the Season 19 of TSEC Tournament, Super Engines Tournament. And after 50 games, it was a very drawish. That was the equal. So both of the engines had the same chances. However, something strange has started to happen uh, from the from the game number 51. In the second um, end of the tournament, one of the engines started to win. Started to win, um, and at the end, got the nine more wins. So during the, the 50 games got nine more wins than the opponent. That's a huge difference and something strange happened here. I'm not sure what, uh, maybe uh, some changes, changes were uh, provided by the, uh, by the engineers, you know, to their engine. I, I'm not sure what just happened. Uh, if you have any information, drop the comment. Uh, I would like to show you one of the games where one side won with the with the with the one color and then another side after switching uh, with the same position uh, couldn't win so this is one of these games which was decisive um who's gonna be which engines gonna be um winning this tournament so without further ado let's see what happened on the board stockfish opens with e4 uh, e6 of course these are pre-arranged move we have the book for the first five moves we have d4 d5 Knight c3, French defense, Vinaver variation with bishop b4, e5, uh, and now queen d7. So, a very old variation, and it's known as a Petrosian variation. Now, what is the idea? The idea is to um, develop this bishop uh, this way to b7, sometimes to a6, um, to exchange the light square bishop. That is the idea. The knight can jump to, to c6 and then castle on the queen side. That is the main idea. Sometimes it doesn't work, so uh, maybe the king also can can stay in the center or castle on the, on the king side. And this knight gonna be developed to, to f5, together with h5, controlling g4. This is very typical for the French defense, especially this systems, uh, closed systems. We have queen g4, so this is the first move by Stockfish on its own. So this was not prearranged, not book. Um, and now f5 is of course playable, and this is the most popular system played by human. Now g7 is of course defended, so uh, queen g3 is the, is the main line. However, we have bishop f8, so Lila chess 0 retreat with the bishop. The bishop defends g7, uh, and this knight is um, not really well placed now, because this knight uh, was actually to control the, the e4, but now this knight uh, doesn't control anything, moreover, c3 cannot be played. So this is the, the idea, it makes um, quite sense some sense. We have knight f3 by, by white and now b6 as planned with the idea of bishop b7, maybe bishop a6. We have bishop b5 now, so the queen is pinned, uh, so we have to play c6 uh, and this also is the white's idea mess up the pawn structure on the queen side so uh, it's not so easy now to make the, the the queen side castle this this pawn structure is not that perfect uh, and now bishop a4 would be the option that is the one of the option if white uh, want to avoid trading the light square bishops because bishop a6 is coming anyway uh, then after bishop a4 uh, the game can continue what white would like to do is bring c3 here and bring the bishop to this diagonal main idea against the french defense with the moves f4 f5 in the future and we've seen that you know plenty of times pretty pretty typical uh, but here stockfish went for bishop e2 so we have bishop a6 we have also castle and now if black actually exchange this bishop the knight can come to e2 then c3 can be played and everything will be fine this is why uh, lila chess zero doesn't want to uh, waste any tempi uh, and play knight e7 first 
So we have bishop a6, knight a6, and now knight e2 anyway. Uh, and now black has the another tempo, so c5. Uh, and now instead of playing uh, c3, we have knight g3. So controlling already f5. So black cannot go with the with the knight to f5 anymore. Uh, we have knight b4. So as you see. If you get some advantage on one side in the French defense, then you have some disadvantage on another side. So you have to be very, very flexible and you have to decide. If you play a3, which is very popular, this knight cannot get here. But then at the same time, you know, um, h5 and knight a5 is coming. So it's always the choice which line and which ideas you want to block and which you are forced to actually mm, allow. For now, of course, we have c3 knight d3, we have rook d1, uh, and now c4. Very interesting, very nice uh, outpost for this knight. This knight cannot be removed uh, by the light square bishop because it doesn't exist anymore. This is why we actually exchange this light square bishop in this kind of the French defense. Um, so we have b3 undermining this, um, this pawn on c4. And now b5 could be actually played. However, uh, the position of black uh, can be very you know a uh, very difficult but all the french <laughs> defense positions are usually dif difficult knight h5 with the attack on on g7 black can answer with knight f5 defending and this knight again this knight is on the light square and cannot be removed easily so you see already this this is quite insane uh it was possible to be played uh, of course exchanging um it's it's also fine white would like to actually double the rooks on the on the b file but it's not that easy it's not that easy we have knight c1 so Lila chess zero doesn't want to keep this very nice outpost on d3. They want to exchange this dark square bishop. Uh, this dar dark square bishop potentially uh, could come maybe to a3, maybe to, to g5, maybe to f4. Uh, but Lila didn't want it to, to see on the, um, on the board. So we have rook d to c1, c takes on b3, a takes on b3 and now g6. So making a space for the bishop but also we the dark squares so stockfish immediately goes for queen g5 uh, and now bishop g7 to defend wouldn't be the best idea because now we have knight h5 and you see there are a lot of problems already uh, the bishop is under attack uh, the knight cannot be i mean can be taken uh, but then you know this bishop gonna be lost and so on a uh, king f8 that is also not so great because um, then the king gonna stay on g8 and this rook it's a very 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 poor rook black would have the a lot of problems to develop that that rook of course this is why we have knight g8 uh, moving back again moving back uh, with the idea of bringing the the bishop to h6 and kicking the queen so we have queen f4 uh, bishop h6 anyway uh, and now knight h5 blocking that uh, and now queen e7 could be played probably the best move in the position uh, the knight of course have to be defended h4 and after exchange uh, we can have something like h6 still keeping a pressure on this pawn so um, after exchanging all that it's still very much playable by both of the sides okay it still can be played Black, for example, can, can bring the queen to h4, the main idea, because why not? You know, it looks, you know, very dangerous for, for, for white. So probably white would um, exchange the queens or, or, or maybe not. Uh, we're not going to know that. Uh, but it was not played. So queen e7 was not played, but rather bishop g7 taking under control um, f6 again. We have rook a6 now, so Stockfish is blocking this a pawn. Um, and black has to do something about that, uh, but cannot do much on the, on the queen side. So we have f6, counter attack on another side. Uh, the knight has to be moved, so the knight moves to e4. So what just happened? Stockfish actually sacrificed the piece. And what, um, what, what is gonna get back for that? So let's see. F takes on e5 uh, with the attack on the queen, d takes on e5, and now take the knight. 
we have knight e4 so white starts to get some initiative uh this move is inevitable uh, it cannot be stopped so that's the one of the advantage um this is why and first we have knight h6 to take under control f7 so there are no mating ideas here we have knight d6 as planned king e7 now queen cannot go to f7 due to this move so very important move and now rook c to a1 putting even more pressure on a7 and this position believe me or not it's a very very tricky position uh, so pay attention what is going on we have rook h to d8 and now very silent g3 preparing f4 also making some space for the king um in the future just to move closer to the center um f4 is the main idea just making this powerful pawn chain uh keep in mind that black is still you know down in material uh, and now what to play next there are uh, there are two ideas maybe move the knight to f5 uh maybe but after queen g5 uh king has to be moved f8 and um, and now we have rook a7 look at this rook a7 now if you take rook if you take rook the queen takes this queen actually delivers the checkmate i will show you that variation um in in another uh, line and knight d6 could be played because this is why we play that uh and then we're gonna have rook e8 um rook e8 rook a8 uh, and here what are you gonna play next knight c8 so uh it's a lot of pressure here queen f4 white stands slightly better but it's still you know uh quite playable king e8 and this king is uh, is in the center uh, but white has only two pieces so it's not so easy actually to break through okay so that was one of the variation probably better one would be actually to to take a couple of pawns and and play bishop a5 it wasn't played because the knight is now without protection so uh queen e5 and after queen d6 queen g5 winning that knight uh king e8 winning that um and then after rook d7 the game can continue and now the material is equal it's completely equal five pawns each but white has a slightly advantage first a lot of pressure on a7 and also the pawn on e6 is quite weak but at the same time black has um doesn't have you know some pieces stuck uh this rook can be you know developed for example to c8 uh maybe to attack this pawn uh, the queen and this rook uh, is still you know all of this is quite playable however Lila Chess Zero decided that okay we're gonna play in balance game uh, I'm gonna have the piece and you're gonna have a couple of pawns for that piece uh, and in this position we have g5 uh, misplacing the queen now we have queen g5 so that was the, the sacrifice king f8 and now rook a7 as i said very tricky because this of course cannot be taken because that would be a checkmate as the knight uh, controls f7 so because of that we have knight f7 very tricky now attacking the queen so exchanging the queens doesn't make sense this is why we have knight f7 first as now there is no attack on the queen and only now rook a7 so we have rook a7 queen a7 and now knight d8 winning back the material but not exactly because queen d7 and this knight is trapped look at this queen this queen actually controls uh, all the squares uh, of the knight okay and there is no way actually to to stop that uh king e8 cannot come yet because the the bishop uh, also is hanging so if the queen takes the the knight then the bishop gonna be lost this is why after c4 first we have h6 misplacing the queen yet again now queen h4 keeping an eye on the on the knight doesn't make any sense because uh that's gonna be just knight e6 
a queen e6 the game can continue so this is why stockfish just you know pick up this pawn it's inevitable so it uh, doesn't really matter queen e6 and now at least y can play queen d8 with check we have king f7 and now f4 as planned creating this beautiful pawn chain very very solid Stockfish now has an advantage, you know, these are four pawns for the bishop, that's the huge advantage. Now, uh, does black has any chances here? Uh, white has really advantage. Queen f5 was played, sacrificing yet another pawn, but this is the only way to deliver any counterplay. So we have queen b6 and now queen c2 cutting this king cutting this king this king uh, cannot move and now white have to be careful we have queen d6 now what white would like to do just push this pawn so we have queen e2 now defending this move is not possible so we have queen d7 king g6 queen e6 king h7 queen f5 and now king h8 staying um in on a h8 so of course uh, the king is completely safe but this swarm of pawns five pawns against the bishop uh who's gonna win that game now if you would like to play something like e6 it's losing it's losing on the spot believe me or not look at this e6 boom and this is a checkmate and uh, this is why i have to be very very careful what to play in this position if you move this pawn you're gonna lose that pawn so Stockfish wants to give back some material uh, just to get a little bit of initiative, bringing the king from the from the very insecure squares uh, and play c5, sacrificing this pawn or giving it back. We have queen e3, king g2, and now picking up that pawn. We have queen e6 now, queen b5. Uh, now taking a look at this pawn and also preparing to attack um, the, the, the king if it's moving to h3. So king h3 is on the board, queen f1 uh, and now king h4. We have queen g2 going after this pawn, uh, h3 and now queen f3 still uh, keeping an eye on them on the b3. We have queen c8 with check, king h7, queen f5 with check, king h8 and finally this pawn can be moved right now. So we have e6. Of course the cost is another pawn. So we have queen b3, e7 and now it's impossible to stop the pawn. Lila chess 0 tries, queen g8, we have queen g6 now defending e8. We have one more move, queen c8, uh, but of course after the check, uh, this is uh, the end. So Lila chess re zero resign. And as I said, uh, Lila chess zero, I'm not sure if Lila chess zero played worse. Uh, probably something was changed in the Stockfish engine because Stockfish won nine extra games uh, and this variation uh, as black stockfish actually managed to draw so it's not like you know completely uh bad opening but just lila chess zero couldn't actually uh, win that and we've seen that very similar variation uh with the with the b6 move was won by lila so lila knows that position it, it, it can play these positions this kind of positions but in this case uh stockfish and nue was too strong so congratulations to stockfish uh it won you know decisive nine extra points this is just crushing and uh, we have a new old king uh, in the season 19 now time for season 20 but uh, it's now it's i i don't see you know um any 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 engine which can actually beat stockfish is it looks like it's unbeatable and, uh, and yeah that's gonna be the king for the long time except somebody makes some kind of clone maybe i'm not really sure what lila chess zero developer is gonna deliver but uh if you like this video press like and if you don't like for some reason press and like and if you don't want to miss another games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one